Almost there, almost there. Uh, do I have everything set up? Is everything working? Should be at this point. And at this point, I have to turn on the comments, right? Where are your comments? Blah, 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 docs, chat. Here you are. Noises. The French guy. I ain't French. I'm not French. I'm Italian. Nice. I think at this point we are ready. I've got even my tablet to check everything out. And I see myself. I don't see the chat though. Okay. Let's start. I hope that lots of people are now listening to me. And hopefully even more will tune in later. So let's get into it. Let's move the comment. Uh, oops. Let's move the comments and uh, let's start answering questions. Hello and welcome. I'm really happy to have you here. And uh, this is indeed the Jinkpad. I'm using it as an Android tablet right now. And hopefully soon I will make a video on how this thing works with Android on it. And spoiler alert, it's a pretty good tablet with Android. And of course I'm waiting for the whole weird situation with the company doing weird stuff. And as soon as that is over, I will do the video and also explain what's happening. But yeah, it's a good Android tablet. It's not a good uh, Linux one, but it's a good Android one. So welcome everybody. I see a lot of hellos in the chat. Hopefully the intro was I'm, I'm not going to say interesting because it wasn't, inter it wasn't interesting, but less boring than compared to the timer. And um, let's start actually answering questions. So I'm an Android developer, always wanted to contribute with open source. It's hard to start helping KD. How hard uh, is to find bugs to be solved? Well, uh, it's not that hard. It also depends on whether you actually use KD in your daily life or not. If you do use KD Plasma, well, I'm gonna find it hard to believe that you don't, uh, you never experience any bug. So usually the first contribution of people are bugs that those people have met themselves. And um, so that's where people start. Otherwise, there are a lot of junior tasks in um, bugs.kd.org. There's even a link, I don't remember exactly where, but there's lots of stuff that is like changing uh, a text. My first patch, uh, merge, my first merge request to KD Plasma was changing uh, a text that was inside of an application because it was slightly confusing. So you, it's easy to start. Uh, of course, if you want to do complex things, that will require time, but I believe you can do it. And um, I'm cooking up some interesting stuff to help you. Oh, I forgot to charge the computer. Sorry about that. Yeah, and um, I'm preparing some stuff to make it easier. I want to do a challenge, uh, but I'll talk about it later. There will be prizes. Anyway, is there a KD distribution with one to one gestures? Nope. Simply because uh, that's not up to the distribution, uh, it's up to the to KDE to implement them, KDE, KWIN, and uh, KWIN mostly. And they're just not there yet. Hopefully they will be implemented soon. I'm also using GNOME, uh, which has one-to-one -one gestures. I've used Elementary, they're both amazing. And well, what can I say? Hopefully Plasma gets them as soon as possible too. Will you play chess with me? Okay, about chess, I've got an important news. Tomorrow I will be doing at uh, about uh, thir uh, sorry, 3 uh, p.m. Uh, GTM plus one, a live stream with Ken Burnett, who uh, you know designed new designed most of the wallpapers for KD Plasma 5. And in that live stream, we will be playing chess. So if you're interested in chess, tomorrow I will do a lot of playing chess with uh, Ken Burnett. So that's interesting. But not today. Today, probably no chess, sorry. What else? Um, current, glom cr slaw. 
Currently, GNOME has better will and support overall. 5.24 version may improve will and support for KDE. Yeah, uh, GNOME is pretty good on desktop, but um, Wayland, but uh, I gotta say that Plasma 5.24 is also very good. I haven't noticed any issue whatsoever while using KD Plasma on Wayland, and that's big news because usually I have to get back to X when I use Wayland with KD Plasma, but with the latest version, I'm just using Wayland without any issue whatsoever. Hey, are there things that require JavaScript in KDE? Yeah, almost all of the interface of KD Plasma is made uh, through also applications, is made using QML. Now, QML is a markup language and any logic implemented in QML is done with JavaScript. So all like 90%, uh, let's do 50, 50% uh, of my work on KD Plasma is through JavaScript. And a lot of time I have to fight uh, against the weird uh, JavaScript behaviors. I don't like JavaScript, but yeah, there is JavaScript going on on, oh, my mask. I had lost this one. Will you try GNOME 42? Yes. Chess competition. Well, right now it's just uh, between me and Canvernet, but uh, maybe in the future I will happily do more chess competition if you like them. Is better the will and the integration of GNOME or the Plasma one? Currently, I gotta say that I didn't notice any difference, any significant dis difference. I think that uh, GNOME 1 is slightly more refined because they had it for a bit longer, but Plasma 5.24 will and integration is pretty good. Like, um, I didn't notice any issue, issue on either. How works KDE governance? Okay, so I did a video about this and I think it's an interesting subject because one would think that, I don't know, I don't know you're a company, you gotta have a CEO that takes all of the decisions, except of course, that's not how KDE works. KDE, uh, well, there are two different things to KDE which you need to consider. There is KDE and there's the KDE EV. Two different things. KDE is the community where the people are like working on things and then there is the KDE AV, which is the actual uh, non-profit organization that manages the KDE community from a legal point of view. So the KDE community is the community that actually do any work on the software itself. And uh, there is no like boss. We, we just do things. There's maybe maintainers, there's people who know the code really well. And so their opinion is obviously very important, but there's no big boss of KDE. KDEV does have a um, governor, which uh, is the president of the board, which is currently um, Alex Poe. Uh, sorry, uh, I, I forgot how the surname is pronounced, but yeah, you can check it out. And um, yeah, um, but those things are strictly about legal stuff or coordinating with other companies. So they don't directly affect the software development of Kitty. So that's shortly how it works. I've done a longer video if you're interested. When can we expect one-to-one -one touchpad gestures in Plasma? I wish I knew. Look, that's not how it works. There's no like, timeline, nor do I see the future. If people work on it, then it will happen soon. If people don't work on it, well, it will never happen. Right now, nobody's working on it. Hopefully, one day somebody will come and will decide to contribute to KDE by actually implementing the one-to-one -one gestures. Who knows? Keep in mind that most of us here are volunteers, so it's not like we are paid to do something in specific. So if somebody comes and actually implements them soon, but that people has to come. Who are the target audience of activities? Um, me, <laughs> apparently it's at least me. I like activities. It's a cool concept that doesn't quite work from a technical point of view. So the idea is, let's say that you've got a computer like this one, which you use for both uh, personal use at home and also for professional work, whatever that professional work uh, might be. 
like my computer, I use it for studying as a student, but also to actually do all of the streaming stuff. Those are very different separate use cases. And sometimes it would almost be easier if you had two separated computers, one for studying and one for uh, streaming. So when you open the computer for streaming, you've got all the streaming stuff set up and they don't get in the way. But uh, when you actually need to study, then you go with the other thing, which has, you know, all your notes directly into the desktop. And that could be helpful. And the idea of activities is acting as if you were using two different computers, but under the same account. So you need to do streaming that you log into the streaming activity and there is all of your streaming software, widgets and stuff. Study, you switch back to study. That's that's the idea at least. Doesn't quite work from a technical point of view because of many reasons, but that's the idea. Do you still use Windows? No, never. I never use Windows. Uh, I haven't used Windows in years. Hmm. Keep in mind, sorry about this, but keep in mind that um, I'm not omniscient and I only know what I know. And uh, if I skip some particular questions, it might simply be that I have no clue how to answer them. So, sorry. Um, okay, what else, what else? Do you do you use Digicam? Actually, no, although I've heard it's a pretty good project. And uh, for my photos, I'm actually using, I'm paying for uh, uh, Google Photos because it has some editing features which are really good. And if I'm using Google Photos anyway, I might just as well use it for everything. But apparently CSD isn't supported by KD. Why? Okay, let's clear this up. Okay, so CSD is supported by Kwin the sense that C CSD apps should look and behave like normal apps on um, KD Plasma as well. We don't use CSD, which is different. We do support CSD to the extent that we can, but we don't use them uh, in application at least. And for that, there are many reasons. I think that the best way to actually uh, read all of the reasons currently is Nate Graham's blog. If you search, let's open up um, uh, pointiest, pointiest uh, stick. Um, what's a CSD, I guess? Uh, I don't know, somewhere. I don't find it. Does like uh, KDE Plasma use CSD? I don't know. I don't see it. Now, somewhere in Nate Cram's blog, somebody please post the link. There is uh, two articles explaining why KDE Plasma right now doesn't use CSD. So those are probably the best uh, articles to refer to. What are my thoughts on KD Plasma Mobile? It's a cool project. Now, my personal issue is that I just love Android. Like, personally, I'm a super big fan of how Android works. So when I think that hopefully in the future we'll be all using KD Plasma Mobile, I I'm not really convinced deep down because deep down I do love Android. And uh, so when I try out KD Plasma Mobile, and I have tried it out uh, before, it's all very cool to see what, um, what the KD community is able to do. I'm always in this doubt on whether I would use it myself, given the opportunity for like my phone, I don't know. If it's, if with Waydroid, you get like full support for, uh, Android applications, it could be. Where, where am I cutting the desktop? Okay, here. You should see all of the chat now. Nicolo, which country are you from? Italy, I'm from Italy. Tifa from the FF7 is, the in, is in the Italian Senate now. Yes, she just recently got a seat and is now a parliamentar. And she's actually right now as I'm speaking, voting in the elections of the president of the Italian Republic. So hopefully she gets, uh, like she does, a, she picks the correct uh, candidate, which is of course Berlusconi. 
what what do you think of Falcon? Which is an interesting question. Well, keep in mind that people, 90, 99% of the people use either like in Linux, 99% of the people use either Firefox or Chromium, Chrome, Chromium. And uh, it is cool to have uh, browsers that are made by a certain desktop or uh, a certain community because uh, they do adapt better to that certain desktop or community pro uh, projects. However, when it actually comes to having the best browser, it is clear that something like Falcon or whatever else, like whatever browser you're doing, of course won't work as well as Firefox or Chrome, but that's not really the point. The point is to make, uh, not for Falcon, but uh, if you take Anglefish as an example, which is another KD browser, well, if you're using something on mobile, well, it makes sense to try to make something that truly works well, uh, which is adapted to Plasma Mobile. And so you need to make a browser, which is not going to be any better than Firefox or Chrome because all of the development that those projects got, but it's necessary nonetheless. Cutie's relationship keeps getting asked by chat every couple of videos, not every couple of video, in each video, like, seriously. <laughs> Do you find this to be a fault with Kitty? Possibly, like, uh, we probably need to step up our um, information to our users regarding that. Could be, could be an area of improvement. If we had a better app develop development kit, would Kitty switch to that? Okay, so, if tomorrow somebody, let's say, I don't know, uh, Tifa from before, uh, joined the KDE project and said, hey, KDE people, I have just made by scratch an entire toolkit which is beautiful, it is amazing, it is super fast and uh, it is completely free on, and open source, would KDE switch to that? Now, surely it would be tempting, but keep in mind that all of KDE uh, projects rely on Qt like heavily, like a lot of the code of Qt is built around Qt. So the idea of switching from one toolkit to another means that you would have to rewrite the entire code base of pretty much everything. And that's a bit too much, like think about how much time it got, um, it took to good, get a good um, Wayland session and I think that we would have uh, to rewrite 10 times more than that. So, I mean, probably not, simply because it's not very technically feasible, but maybe, maybe, maybe. Lineage OS. Yeah, I mean, Android or whatever open source fork of Android is cool. What do you think of menu bars? I'm not a fan of menu bars. I don't like menu bars. I think that the best um, way to present the user a lot of um, actions inside of an app is the ribbon that uh, Windows uses. Let's see if I can get some pictures. Uh, Windows, uh, Windows ribbon interface. The one that they use pretty much everywhere. So this one. What's this one? So the idea is you get an application with a menu bar, but it's not just a menu bar that you click and you see all of the options. You actually see the options in underneath divided by uh, actually groups. So you've got home, which has clipboard, font, paragraph, and then each one has the settings inside of it and they're all of different style depending on what they do. So if this was all inside of a menu bar, the, I don't know, what's this? The styles section wouldn't be as clear because right now you can see the styles, you have a preview, which is cool. Otherwise you probably wouldn't get it if it was a menu bar. So personally my vote goes to ribbons, but uh, your mileage may vary. 
What's one feature you feel not enough Linux or KDE specific people know about? I just now learned about tax from Exarch after the, uh, years of daily use. One feature, one feature that uh, pr probably, let me think this one through. I think people should have more respect for no, I'm just kidding, should uh, consider more um, window rules. So window rules is a niche uh, functionality in Plasma, but it's so well done, like honestly. It lets you do a lot of stuff and it's honestly very helpful in many use cases. And if you don't know how to use them, I've done a video about them, so check it out. Don't you think that tree bonds get too many interface uh, space? I mean, it depends on the application, but usually you do have that space. In most cases, you do have that space. If you just have like an handful of options and you don't require all that space to be used, then of course ribbon is not the way to go, but then the menu bar isn't either. The menu bar sure is compact, but if you're doing an app that's as complex as it is to require a menu bar, then that's going to take some screen space. Like, it's better to take some space when it's necessary rather than try to be as small as possible and confusing the user. When should touchpad gestures come to KDE according to you? So in my opinion, touchpad gestures should come as, pos as soon as possible. So as I've said before, I have no clue when they're coming. It really depends on whether somebody will step in and start implementing them. If nobody comes and nobody implements them, they will never come. That's the sad truth. What do you think about a convergent shell? I'm a big fan of the idea of convergency and the convergent shell in particular. So I do think that it's possible. I do think that we should pers pursue it, pursue it, pursue it. Pers and um, yeah, we're not really doing that right now. So yeah, but uh, Maui shell as an example, I think does something pretty nice. I like that. So yeah, I like the idea. Which word do you prefer, programs or apps? Apps, it's more, it's much more, much more intuitive to uh, people using technology nowadays. Apps is pretty much the word for anything. So yeah, I can't have, I can't even use PopOS because elementary OS one to one gesture is too satisfying. Yeah, I know, I know, one to one gestures are great. Where are you from? Italy. I'm from Italy. If you personally want to implement any feature, what it would be? If I personally could implement any feature I would like, I would probably go with one-to-one -one gestures and the new overview. Because I mean, I think that's what KDE is most lacking right now, in my opinion. Is the login screen is locked to one day for you too? What is this, an Aiku? Sorry, I didn't understand. I like the customizability of KDE. My girlfriend really likes Macintosh, so I redesigned Plasma to Macintosh, and it's amazing how good it works. Yeah, yeah, I've done that in the past. I'm, uh, one time there was this uh, promotional video from KDE Promo Chat, and they asked me to do one screenshot of Plasma customized to be everything. So I did Windows, I did Macintosh, I did Samsung DeX. It was so funny. And that you can get so close, like almost indistinguishable. Choose one, Intel or a AMD. I don't know. I'm not expert in a CPU. Don't make me draw uh, conclusions from what I don't know. What is your favorite Plasma 5.24 feature? I don't know, Plasma 5.24 doesn't have that much stuff inside of it. I think it's probably good that the fingerprint uh, support has improved. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any way to invoke the new overview with a button in the panel? Nope, sorry. Uh, maybe some third party. I mean, if you find a third party widget that when you click on it, uh, yeah, it's probably feasible. When you click on such widget, then a shortcut gets applied, which in this case is meta 
W, it should be feasible. Search for something that lets you insert keystrokes when you click uh, on it on the panel. What laptop are you using right now? It's a XPS 13 9310 developer edition. Is there a ATA for Plasma 6? Not really, but one year, one year and a half, two years stop. That should be the time frame. Question, why wasn't, uh, why wasn't I subscribed? I don't know, I don't know. Now is the best time to subscribe to my channel. Go for it. Today I'm a bit tired, so if you see me like, sorry, it's just, I, I'm a bit tired, so yeah. Does fingerprint support will come on 5.24? So the idea is not about fingerprint support because finger, actually supporting the fingerprint uh, reader on your laptop is not up to KDE. That's the work of drivers. But if you do have the supported drivers for your um, fingerprint reader, then now KDE exposes a way to configure from system settings, your fingerprint reader. But if it wasn't working before, it won't work now. Just Google if uh, your, your fingerprint reader is supported. Please don't make right click of KDE like Windows 12 one. With 12, I guess you're meaning 11, but uh, if it was up to me, I would do it. If it was up to me, I would do it. But um, People in the visual design group uh, as an, aren't as progressive uh, as I am, so. Hi there, don't know if it was already asked. Do you recommend KDE Neon to daily use KDE? No, generally speaking, no. Uh, but if you use it and you're good with it, there's no reason to switch either. Like my girlfriend, which is not tech savvy at all, uses KDE Neon and that's what I picked for her because I mean, I'm a developer. If she messes up, I know how to fix it. So I just went with it, but um, Kubuntu is very good as well. Which distro has the latest and greatest KDE desktop? Well, usually, usually speaking, latest and greatest are two words that don't agree with with each other. If you want the very latest, it's not very, it's not going to be very greatest. If you go for a stable release, then it's going to be better. But if if you want like the latest, latest stuff, then you go with KDE Neon because, like, objectively, it's the most updated one almost daily. If you go with the very unstable uh, option. Otherwise, I don't think that there is a distro that is particularly good. Fedora is good. Um, Kubuntu is good, as I mentioned. KDE Neon is also pretty good as well. I don't see why you wouldn't use it. Manjaro KDE, more controversial, potentially good for you. OpenSUSE. We didn't make like six different distros to then pick one. Do you try installing Arc? Yeah, I've, I've installed Arc multiple times. I'm not a big fan of Arc, honestly, not because it's a bad project. It doesn't fit me. I don't see why I would go with Arc when I can just, you know, pop up Ubuntu and it works. Different use cases. Which keyboard do you use? I'm using a Dvorak. Dvorak. Yeah, I've learned how to use the Dvorak. Why use Kubuntu or Ubuntu instead of Fedora? I never said to use Ubuntu or Kubuntu instead of Fedora. I just said that Kubuntu was good. Fedora is also really good and it's up to you to actually decide which one you want to use. Hello, Nicolo. Hello. OpenSUSE, you shook your head negatively. No, that, sorry, that wasn't intended. OpenSUSE is good, like uh, it wasn't, uh, it, it was not to say it's bad, absolutely. That was accidental. What is your favorite? <laughs> what is your favorite frequently asked question? Probably the one about corners bug. 
but please don't don't ask it again <laughs> please <laughs> is there any part of KDE that you think is too difficult for new users that's interesting a part that is too difficult for new users what does that mean really hmm I would say like settings, but it's a bit of a weak answer. Like settings aren't that bad, but if you start going through all of them, it might be a bit tough. But uh, I think the situation is improving fast. Uh, I didn't ask for the keyboard layout. I asked which keyboard you use as in the real keyboard. Sorry, sorry, uh, it's, I'm using my laptop's keyboard. Did you see that? Was that visible? Hopefully, yes. Uh, the, honestly, the XPS keyboard is fine. I don't see why I should buy an external one. Do you think the Steam Deck will make Linux gaming better? Oh, that's for sure. No doubt. How much time do you spend every week for KD development? You know what, I must show you. That's a good question. How much time do I spend each week for KD development? Let me show you. Now the, the video might die off uh, because I'm closing the app. No, come back. Okay, if uh, my face disappeared, don't worry, it will get back. So if you go here, uh, actually no, here and here, and the calendar, and we see last week as an example. Also, this is on my Twitter, so you can check that out. There is, uh, where is it, KD, so, which is this one. And uh, last week I went with uh, four hours and nine minutes weekly. That's not much, but you know. But we can also get uh, more detailed data from here, KDE week. So you can see this is the history. I wish I could contribute more regularly, but uh, you know, time is time and notification. Okay, let's get back to the to the video. Where is it? Blah 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 blah. Droid cam. Hello. Now you should uh, start seeing me again. Yes. Nice. What app is that for Android mirroring? I did a video about this. Go check out my, my channel and the video is called like three ways to connect to your Android device. And uh, it talks about that, but also two other ways, so go check it out. Who do we ask on KDE why they have vendetta against smaller app icons? We've got no vendetta against smaller app icons, what do you mean? Can you elaborate uh, on that? Uh, hey Nicola, do you think that working some do you think that working some sort of UTF-8 like standard for icons in collab with GNOME is some viable cause to improve theming consistency? That's a good question. I, there is a standard already. If you're talking about improving it, I'm not the right person to ask. You should ask, I don't know, no hard Davis, maybe? I don't know, sorry. Th there is, there is some, some, uh, some stan standard. Your English is very good. Thanks, I'm trying to, to improve. Clover spotted. Yeah, I use Clover. I don't browse 4chan much, but when I do, I use Clover. Do you want to get banned again? I, I already tried to ban you last time, not this time. I'm gonna open up Chrome and ban you for real, so stop. One person after watching my last uh, live said that I should like um, take some people that uh, would become moderators for the chat. I would do that, but I haven't yet looked into the technical details on how to do that. So 
If you're interested in a moderation position on my channel, then we can, we can try to sort it out. You should try Corba X. I don't know, I'm good with Clover. For example, in Krita, you can change the size of pretty much everything but the icons. You can only make them bigger. Okay, um, I don't know a lot about this. Yeah, I'm probably not competent enough to answer this question. There is some settings about uh, like uh, icon sizes, but I don't know, sorry. <laughs> do you currently have WayDroid installed? Yes, I do. I do have WayDroid. Like if you search for Telegram, I have Telegram desktop and then Telegram, which is then Droid app with WayDroid then another Telegram desktop because it's broken, why not? Hmm. Do you believe that new desktop environments are good or they just fragment in bad way with unpolished software that new user can step on and have bit bad feelings about Linux? So let's talk about this, it's an interesting one. I'm not as um, I do think that uh, except for Kitty Plasma, GNOME, Elementary, or the other desktops are a bit more niche and generally speaking, I would prefer if there was more collaboration with the three desktops I talked about instead of fragmentation. But at the same time, I do understand them and uh, sometimes I wish that there was some desktop actually trying to do new stuff, like really new stuff. So my idea is, it's uh, it's legitimate to want to be a desktop, uh, even a niche one, which maybe nobody uses, but it's still a good idea to have a desktop if it tries to be somewhat um, like original. But if you have a desktop that's exactly like another one, in that case, I would prefer if there was collaboration instead of, uh, you know, fragmentation. That's my dig. New desktop environments. Uh, so, yeah, there are a lot of forks of GNOME. Generally speaking, I would prefer, generally speaking, if those forks actually contributed to GNOME more. But there are also desktops that are not forks of GNOME that I don't fully understand. I don't know, LXQT as an example. If one person like did, like PopOS, if PopOS decides to do their own desktop and they do something very original, then I'm all for it, but We'll have to wait and see. Why did you switch to GNOME? Well, I did an entire video talking about that, so go check out uh, KD Developer Switches to GNOME video and I will explain it through, throughoutly. What distro are you running? The one that comes pre-installed on this computer, which is Ubuntu. What do you think of System76 6 upcoming Rust-based DE? As I said, if it is something very original, then let's go for it. Otherwise, I wish that they just contributed to an existing desktop. Gnome doesn't want contribution if don't follow it vision. Now, check this out. KD Plasma doesn't want contribution if it doesn't follow their vision either. Just like any project is not going to accept a merge request if it goes against its values. I don't know what expect, what do you expect exactly? Like one person implements something and so they're like, oh yeah, let's do this. Like it's against our values, but let's do this anyway. No, that's not how it works. Now, the idea is trying to get together and do a project, a product that even though you disagree with some of the values is still a good compromise. And I think that GNOME is no worse than KD Plasma in doing this. They have a much more specific view uh, of what a desktop should be compared to KD Plasma. And sometimes that's good. 
through all e throughout li through yeah thank you through or thoroughly thoroughly okay are you using a green screen let me show you this is me and now this is the green screen hello green screen now it's me again and it's falling Sorry about this. My camera keeps on falling. Did you earn some money in the last days with YouTube? Is there any people link for support? Let me answer this nicely. Okay, so yes, I did. Uh, if you want to support me, you can go into any video of my channel, uh, except this one, as always. I don't put uh, people links in, uh, but if you take this one as an example, underneath here you get the PayPal link, which is paypal.me slash Nikolave, and you can send some donation, and that of course makes me happy. <laughs> In general, yes, I did receive money, and uh, I'm not. Uh, I think that I owe you to also show you how much do I earn. This is the graph, and I mean, just take a screenshot of it, and then I'll go forward with the video. I showed you the graph already, like in the live, no, in the academy talk, so yeah. Will you do a setup tour? Not a bad idea. Let me write this down somewhere. No, I, I remember it. A setup tour, I like it. Ha uh, ha, the Ariaman uh, writes, help me. Sorry, I must have missed some of your messages. Okay, I tried installing KDE in Arc, but I saw that the taskbar and half of the desktop didn't load. My mouse is disappeared. Well, <laughs> okay, l let me start with the bad answer first and then we go into the good answer. The bad answer is that you shouldn't be using Arc if you can't install it, uh, things on it. The good answer is that you pr you're probably missing some packages. Check out that you have, uh, well, of course, Plasma Desktop, Kwin, Plasma Workspace, the Plasma Frameworks, and uh, at least that. Usually there should be in the package, just if you follow the Arc Linux guide, uh, it's pretty good. You shouldn't have any issues. If you still have some bugs, uh, try to, I don't know, make a screenshot and send it to me so I can try to help. And um, what else? I don't know. De it really depends on what exactly is the issue. If you follow the guide throughout, truly, you shouldn't have them, but ARC is pron pronounced like ARCH, not ARC. No, no, come on. It's, it's ARC, no. ARCH, ARCH, ARCH Linux. Ah, okay. Okay, I'm using VirtualBox. It should still work. I installed the whole, whole package. I only have the terminal window with the wallpaper. I don't know, check out, yeah, Plasma Shell and uh, check out uh, error log. Have you considered visiting a reporting from the Linux App Summit in uh, Roberto this April? Yes, I've considered it. If I have time in April, I will be very happy to go there. But uh, right now, I don't know, especially because of the, you know, Virus. Will Bismuth be shipped by default in future releases? No, not really. Especially given that it's uh, in most, like, it will probably get easier to install. And in most distribution, it will be just like installing a package. So I don't think it will get uh, by default, installed by default. What are you using to track your time spent or projects? I use a uh, focus matter, which is not open source, but it's pretty good. I pay for it. And I also use U habits, which is open source. What languages do you know except English and Italian? Uh, none, like Python, Python, a bit of QML, but uh, none. You're not doing enough questions. Uh, I'm uh, losing questions. Uh, do you think that the Steam Deck is a game changer to Linux? It's not a game changer, but it's great news. Like, it's amazing news. 
I mean, more games working on Linux is more people using Linux, hopefully. Now, a game changer is a bit too much, especially if the user actually doesn't see Linux in most of the time. If you're using the Steam Deck, you only see like Linux if you connect it to a monitor, which is going to happen and it's amazing. Of course, many people will use Steam Deck without knowing about Linux either. So it's not like the game changer, but still uh, amazing, it's amazing. Do you agree that the Steam Deck is using KDE? Yeah. Do you agree the Steam Deck using KDE? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's the question, but uh, the answer is yes. Come on, do more questions. There's not enough. I know I lost some, but uh, you know, that's how it goes. Have you, have you ever used that tiling window manager instead of full desktop? No, never actually. I never felt the need to because at the end, uh, I'm a person that sure likes to customize stuff, but I also like to use stuff that's already like working out of the box and uh, Ubuntu works out of the box. KD Plasma works out of the box. Why should I, why should I use a tiling DE? I've used a tiling script for KD Plasma, sure. But I have a tiling window manager, why? What got you started to choose KDE as a project to contribute? Well, it was my favorite project, honestly. I've used many open source projects and KDE Plasma is my favorite one. That's as simple as that, I love it. Classic Italian question, pasta or pizza? Pizza, pasta is a strong con contender, but uh, pizza is just on a whole another level. How do you agree or disagree with a project using your using your open source software? Yeah, it's a bit of a confusing question. Yeah, of course you agree. Like you're doing open source software and people use it and you're happy. Is Qtfish based off KDE? Uh, at least, uh, yes, the answer is yes. At least KDE Kwin. I don't know how much of Plasma, but surely at least Kwin. So yeah. Has Valve talked with uh, anyone at KDE or made contribution to KDE since they are using it? Yeah, yeah, they they have. Don't worry. We even have developers who have the Steam Deck already through to test uh, that it actually works and and uh, stuff. Nicolo, why always any custom window decoration other than Breeze make the plasma so laggy? Because uh, third-party window decorations are using probably a more inefficient way to draw, which is probably Kemal. I think that the default decoration is uh, C++. Probably Aurore, Aurore, or how it's pronounced, which is the actual project that manages third-party um, third window decorations is not as performant as Breeze is. So you're always losing something if you're using a third-party theme, unless it's the Plasma theme. The Plasma theme is just, uh, just as good. What is your favorite font? Yosevka. <clears throat> Do you want the Steam Deck to have Android apps? I mean, why not? We've got Waydroid, it can have Android apps. Why shouldn't uh, it have them? Pineapple pizza, pineapple on pizza. How do I ban this guy? Where is the ban button? Uh, still broken. Okay, you're safe, but uh, don't, don't ask that again. Classic Italian question, are you Italian? Yes. KDE has a lack of simplicity. Yeah, I, I understand this. It is true to some extent, but keep in mind that the default, we always try to keep the default as simple as possible. If you don't go into, I don't know, applet settings or certain settings in the system settings, then KD Plasma is actually going to be not that complex. By default, you have the panel with what you would expect and nothing more really. The system tray, the show desktop button, the 
task manager and kick off and that's about it. I mean, of course the clock and uh, applications are not that complex either, especially the new ones. If you go into full settings and want to change stuff, well, yeah, it will lack simplicity, obviously. Also some context menus, but we are improving that. We are working to improve that. So yeah. I think Breeze is super underrated. It is my favorite theme along with Chrome OS. I think Breeze is pretty good, uh, especially after after the, redes the redesign. So yeah, I can't disagree with you. Are these ideas or plans to you know, make using different uh, WMS in Plasma more supported and or intended? I have a friend who hacked his Plasma to use Xmonad. It's not a hack, I think uh, it's supposed to somewhat work, but uh, I don't know, there's no plan to make it work even better. I think it works uh, now as it should be. I don't think there's any plan to improve it significantly. Why am I not seeing any new comment? Come on, write to me. Oh, is this, is this stuck? Okay. Classic Italian question. What do you feel holds back certain users from using KDE? Maybe the feeling of complexity. It's very normal for a user to be scared of complexity, especially if it's in a new product. So if you're using a new product, you're already a bit scared. If it's complex, it's even worse, which is why we're trying to make Plasma simple by default, to make sure that everybody can simply use it without feeling any worry. But of course, uh, KD Plasma is incredibly customizable and you can do a lot of stuff with it. So powerful when, use, when um, useful is going to impact somehow the people actually starting to use KD Plasma. Why is KD settings available on the GNOME store? Oh, I have no clue whatsoever. That's a good question though. Make a bug report, I guess. I don't know if uh, to get here to GNOME at this point. Okay, lots of questions. Let's try to go through them. When will the year of Linux desktop come? Next year, totally next year. What is Kurigami? Heard it several times and me confused. Okay, Kurigami, which you can also find uh, Kurigami KD, is the framework, so a thing that helps you build applications. And uh, the idea is that you make application, like as an example, uh, Discover, but also a good part of system settings is done through Kurogami. And the the good good thing about this is that you can, those apps are convergent, so you can use them on your, uh, they're going to use touch screens, so it's going to be supported, but also on phones, it's very nice to use them. And oh, this screenshot is old. But yeah, it's a framework to help you build applications that are modern and that are that work both on a laptop and a phone. That's the idea, or I don't know, tablet. Is there any plan to make the performance better for custom window decoration? Not explicitly, but uh, maybe in the future, uh, that will happen. I can't promise it though. Why next year? I was just kidding. I was just kidding. It was a joke. It's never coming as if the Linux year comes, it's going to be slow, takes several decades. So yeah. How is communication done between KDE developers? Do you have regular meetings? Uh, no, actually we mostly talk about, uh, talk through uh, KDE chats, uh, either in Telegram or Matrix, and that's about it. We do have some meetings, but not too many of them. It's mostly all through chats. <laughs> Is GNOME official? Yeah, yeah, it's totally official, totally. What browser did you use? In this case, I'm using Chrome because Firefox refuses to start up, but yeah, I usually use Firefox. I always always thought KDE was heavyweight until I actually tried it. 
Ja, nej, nej, kriplasma is not uh, very he- heavyweight, so good job on that. Liba Dwighter looks awful on plasma. Is there any workaround and will it be fixed? This question should be redirected to the JTK uh, plasma breeze uh, JTK C++ uh, theme, so I have no clue whatsoever, sorry. Another question, but thanks for the KD theme made the default theme with light dark options and great uniform appearance between Qt and JTK. We try our, we try our best. Chrome, why not Chromium? Uh, Chrome was pre-installed. Sure, I could go on and install Chromium, but honestly, I don't care. Five Linux apps which you use the most. I might go with uh, OBS. I use OBS daily. Inkscape, I really like Inkscape. And then probably like the one that you would expect, like Dolphin for the files. Gwen View is pretty good to see my images. One more. What else? Uh, one application that I use a lot. Ah, Firefox, obviously, Firefox. You are skipping a lot of questions. Well, you're making a lot of them. I'm trying my best, but you know. Do you use Vim or NaVim? I actually use Nano. I use Nano. Do you believe that focusing too much in mobile compatibility like GNOME, even though it will probably will not use too much, can hurt the desktop focus? No, not at all. And you actually, it's not about mobile compatibility, it's about convergency, even for, I don't know, touch screen computers. I do have a touch screen and it's very nice that I can use gestures. Like this thing I'm doing, I'm doing it with a gesture. And uh, you have to support that. You can't just say all of touch screen laptops, your computer, just don't worry about touch screen, don't, don't use it. Five Linux apps which you use the most. I already replied to that. Nano, why not just use Kate at that point? I know sometimes I need to edit something really quickly, but of course 99% of the time I'm on Kate. Obviously. How does Discover sort its uh, search results? It doesn't seem to have any very good default sort order. I don't know, you have uh, to ask, uh, I don't know, the VDG probably. I don't know by heart, sorry. Let's see if I skipped some questions. Did you count how many uh, questions, questions you have answered? No, I don't count them, I just go and answer, why not? Has KD dropped uh, putting, KD, putting K on every application? Yes, informally, yes, but some people still do it. And I mean, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't happen. It's fine other way. Why KD Neon ships a snap? You could ask the KD Neon developer this one, sorry. I, I don't know, I remember having this discussion, but it was years ago. I don't remember anymore. Do you even lift, bro? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thoughts on Yakuake. I used to use Yakuake so much and now I just don't use it anymore. Sad. I should probably go back to Yakuake. It was such a cool idea. Yeah, I, I, I like the idea of Yakuake. Are you still using GNOME? Yes, I'm still using GNOME. As you can see, this is GNOME. What is your favorite terminal? Console. I thought about switching to the Dvorak keyboard layout before, but the idea of having to relearn my Vim muscle, muscle memory is terrifying. You have to relearn everything. So at this point you can also relearn Vim anyway. It will take, I don't know, one year, but I think it's worth it. Are there any problems for KDE since Qt changed their licensing model? No, no, and we're fine. Are you a computer science student? No, I'm actually studying math, mathematics. Yakuake is so broken on Wayland. I didn't know that. Hopefully it got fixed, but um, I didn't even know it was broken, so I can't give you any important uh, insight, sorry. 
please review OpenSUSE Thimbleweed KDE. You know, I'm not an expert on distros, so I don't think it would get, make for a good video if I try to review something that I'm not any competent in. It won't be interesting for the users either. What advantages does Dvorak have? It's much easier to type, like really. I, I really like to type on a Dvorak uh, keyboard. Have you installed the sound input and output device chooser? Yes, it's up here. You probably don't see it, but uh, it's up here. It's very nice, yeah, it works. Any plans to put blur transparency slider for panels? No, and there's a reason. Okay, blur, you can select the blur radius. There is a slider for the blur radius. Transparency, we can't actually do anything because uh, the amount of transparency is chosen by the plasma theme. The plasma theme is SVG and we can't really edit the SVG to change the transparency. So we just need to use the transparency from the plasma theme as is. At, at least you can still switch back to o opaque because uh, the plasma theme also offers a uh, opaque version, but uh, sorry. It's, it's just impossible to implement a slider for transparency. Maybe in the future Plasma 6, I don't know. Calculus uh, was one of the harder parts of my degree. Oh, don't tell me. I'm studying calculus right now. Like I'm a second year and I'm still trying to pass calculus one. It's so hard. Although I love algebra, I love geometry. Calculus is just, I don't know. I, I can't, I understand it but not as good as a uh, math major should. Uh... Have you ever used Blender? Yes, a bit, but I'm no expert. Any plan to plan in to implement Super Plasma uh, Scroll to change desktop? There's already most scroll to change that. Ah, you mean anywhere. Not that I'm aware of. But uh, keep in mind that you can scroll on the desktop to change desktops, so there's at least that. Do you like physics as a subject? No, I prefer math. I prefer pure math. I don't like physics that much. Calculus 2 was the real killer. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I've, I've also studied Calculus 2, uh, even though I didn't pass Calculus 1 yet, but Calculus 2 was actually easier on me Maybe I already knew how university worked, but um, it was much easier to study for Calculus 2 compared to 1. How long does it take to do your hair? I, I don't spend much time trying to make them look good, so... Advanced math or basic math? Uh, there's no such thing, uh, such division in uh, uh, Italian university. There is just math. There's maybe there's applied math or advanced advanced math in the future, but uh, for the second year it's math. I want to learn Kurigami. Where should I start? Uh, you go to the documentation of Kurigami, which is this one, and there is learn and uh, there's a very long guide explaining all of the things and you go through all of it. In my country, we have to choose advanced or basic. It, probably my degree, like my university degree is corresponds to advanced mathematics, probably. Once you pass calculus one, everything is easier. Eh, hopefully, hopefully. I mean, I've done so many other exams. Like I have passed Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Geometry 1, and uh, Linear Algebra uh, 1. And uh, I'm still stuck at Calculus 1 though. And then I have to give like stati statistics and uh, physics. So you need to excuse, him, excuse me um, a second. I need to do a little short break because I need to go to the bathroom. Rick will be back 
and shoot me you know, with this. I'll be back, sorry. Have fun, man, why? Guess who's back? Back again. What were you talking about in chat? <laughs> G edit with solarized theme. Yeah, you got it right. No ketchup on the spaghetti. You don't pour ketchup on the spaghetti. Like, I've seen people doing that in front of me in Sweden. And I was like, no, stop. You're trying to kill me. Please don't do, don't don't ever do that. It's back. It's back. Uh, let's let's see. Let's see. Let, let me do a bit of uh, other funny stuff. Let me open up another. No, sorry. I want another Chrome window. What was it? Control click. No. Shift click, no, ah, come on, let's drag and drop, this works. Okay, I want to see my comments, so please uh, st stay here. Uh, what is it again? Come on, I can do this, I can do this. Central click, no, OBS Studio. Show details. No, how do you make this stay open? Come on, there was an option. Stay, uh, stay above. Always on top, like this. Okay, this works. I wanna go through. Some uh, posts from from uh, Kitty subreddit, just for fun. I think it would f be funny. So let me open up. I can do this, as well I can do this. Why don't you, oh, finally. Like this, nice. And then you go here, and then you resize. Come on, come on, why don't you resize? Okay, this is uh, as good as I can make it. As I was saying, let's go see a couple of posts from KD, the super popular posts, top. I'm still reading comments, so feel free to ask me anything. Top from all the time. I'm wondering what's the most interesting posts. Bing chilling, yeah. Do you love China? I do not, sorry. I do not love China. What is your video card? Some Intel integrated stuff. Kitty can let me, 
Uh, can you, nah, what the hell is this? Go back. Can you connect is a cool app though. Like one time I was receiving a call and it was from like the other room and I was watching Monogatari and then Monogatari stopped and it was like, you're receiving a phone call. It's so cool. Those little things that actually work. What's your favorite Ghibli movie? Uh, the Wind Rises. Oh, this thing. The motto thing. I'm not going to play chess. Maybe later, maybe later. You know, the simple by default power, powerful when needed oh, thing was so annoying. Uh, I don't think that they did this, did this on purpose. I don't think that it was on purpose. Other developers disagree. I think this was uh, an honest accident. A very suspicious, suspicious one, but still I think it was an accident. I wish that uh, Microsoft add more, you know, attention. Like if you Google uh, a motto and you find, find that it's another, pro another project uses already, I wish that Microsoft just avoided to use it, but it's so annoying. So, but I don't think it was on purpose. Have you ever made a JTK commit? No, never. I don't know if we focused a bit more on a good design. We do focus on good design. Yeah, I mean, uh, Windows 11 did this thing of completely redesigning stuff. I have some disagreement with the direction Windows 11 went with, but still, I don't think it's a bad idea for us either to redesign stuff, which is why we're doing it. So yeah. What the... Da, da, da. Oh yes, the wobbliness. The wobbliness one is fun. So this wobbly effect was so nice when I first used it, but nowadays it's really like old. <laughs> And the fact that you can go and completely make it wobbly and it actually <laughs> completely, it's completely broken if you do that. It's so funny. Like, just look at here. Beautiful, just beautiful. The only DE that can't use that motto is GNOME. Simple by choice, tell me that as you spent the last two nights troubleshooting XML. I think that's unfair to GNOME. I think like it's surely a different philosophy, but I don't think it's a bad one. Watching this instead of doing my homework. No, that's bad, do your homework. I should be doing my homework too, but do your homework first. Stuck on a defined integral now. Share the integral. If you share the integral, I will try to solve it uh, in camera. Very bad experience with KDE. I'm sorry. We always try to be as good as possible, but sometimes. Just a suggestion. Do you have any knowledge predictions regarding hypothetical release of KDE 6? What would it be like? What kind of design change would uh, it would need to undergo to be named a new release? Okay, so I've done a video about this. Go check out the video that I've done, which is called, how do we know Plasma 6 is coming? Now we do know that Plasma 6 is coming. And the reason for that is not that there is a significant design change, but that Qt switched from being Qt 6 to Qt, sorry, Qt 5 to Qt 6. And when Qt changes version, KDE does too. So there will be a KDE Plasma 6 and it will be a change mostly in the APIs. As far as Plasma goes itself from the design point of view, much like 
almost everything won't change. If there is any significant change, it won't be like mm, too much stuff. Maybe the theming system, but in general, Plasma 6 is about improving the API, improving the, uh, you know, the things that you don't know about that are actually necessary to make sure that everything works. Is there any plans to add a, share, a screen share option in KD Connect? I don't think it's uh, it's not possible. Sadly, uh, it requires uh, QMA, uh, sorry ADB debugging, and uh, KD Connect cannot turn on ADB debugging by itself, so it's not possible. Okay, so what's this suggestion? So you're suggesting to move do not disturb where exactly? Oh, no, I don't like it. Do not disturb is cool. But yeah, it's surely that the like size of and places of the notification thingy could be improved somewhat. I can agree on that. Gnome is working on a new system tray. Is KD going to support it? Uh, no, uh, KD is unrelated. Like Gnome is working on a new way to show the system tray. KD Plasma already supports the system tray. So there shouldn't be any change necessary to KD, KD Plasma to actually change anything. If there is something to change, of course, then we'll just go with it. Console looks so cool. Like the name console is so good. Why would you ever change it? Console. I'm a bit wary of people trying to do desktop environments comparison. What exactly do you want to compare? It doesn't work like that. There are all different things with different ideas. Try to compare them based on objective values. I mean, I guess RAM consumption, stuff like that, but I've seen this chart, I've downloaded it. Please do not swear. No, it's not allowed. I will uh, open the chat and ban you. They meant, if KDE would support whatever new notification library that GNOMES comes up with, uh, I don't know, it really depends on what they come up with, honestly. No clue, no clue. Do you also feel like animation in GNOME feel kind of smoother? Uh, actually, no, sometimes it's GNOME who's lagging for me. Like right now, a couple of frames were, me were dropped and this animation is so not smooth. In general, I think plasma animations are smooth. Depends on the hardware though. You do it open source or getting paid as a KDE dev? Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Doing open, you can be paid to do open source, huh? Like they're not mutually ex exclusive. I'm not paid, I'm not paid, but uh, you, you can be paid and work on open source. But uh, I do uh, as a volunteer, that's the word you're searching for. So yeah, surely consider a donation. Again, it's uh, paypal, what was it? Pay, paypal.me slash Nikolove. And it's the notation, uh, this. And uh, yeah, donations. Is Plasma Big Screen available on x86? Uh, yes. Yes, you can use it wherever you really, as far as I know, at least. I don't know, I'm not sold on this idea. Uh, like it, it, w trying to copy Windows 11, then it doesn't end up looking as good as Windows 11 is. Like Windows 11 looks better than this screenshot. So I wouldn't attempt to copy it like this. There's ways to copy it and it looks nice, so. Linus is using KD Plasma, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's not happy about it. 
is Wayland the future of Linux? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear that everybody is switching to Wayland sooner or later. Nicolò, you can get cancelled for saying to copy Windows 11. I just said not to copy Windows 11. <laughs> that was the point. <laughs> Windows 11 looks horrible. No, like d the designer that did Windows 11 ain't stupid. Maybe you don't like it. That's fair. But the design is not bad. Linus is using KDE like a six years old. No, he's using it like a normal user. You expect everybody to be a power user? Of course not. He's using it as a normal person. I I've talked about the, his experience. Go see the video. Do you only work on the Plasma desktop or other KDE you also don't work for? you also work for, what's that the question? I don't know, um, I mostly, mostly work on Plasma Desktop, Plasma Workspace and Plasma Frameworks. Maybe a tiny bit okay win on some effects, but mostly, mostly the desktop, yeah. Kubuntu is a good first distro. I don't have anything against Kubuntu. How long have I been streaming? Hello? One hour and a half. Okay, I still have time. If you're interested, that is. Are you still interested in uh, listen, listening to me? If you don't go away, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> this is Blue Ocean. I've used this wallpaper for a lot. And then, of course, there's the clone of the Windows 11. Uh, this is the Windows 11 menu button Plasma. And of course the Windows 11 menu looks better because you don't just copy and it just works. You have to do a custom theme as well. And this one has two dark shadows on the panel as an example. Uh, no, I don't do any live coding, mostly because it's super boring. It's very boring. If I do live coding, then I need to know exactly what I'm supposed to do already. And uh, so it's a bit less boring, but usually I just do videos on what I've worked on on KD Plasma. Live coding is generally not as interesting for this channel as it could be. You know, Firefox also does this thing of doing uh, the context menu with the buttons at the top and it works. Firefox does it in a good way. What do you think about Go and Rust? Go is pretty, pretty interesting. I've used it. Rust, I never used it and uh, I don't know. But Go, Go is interesting. I, I would use Go for projects. What's your opinion or snaps? I don't like that the server side is so closed down and I'm not a fan. I gotta say not a fan. This launcher mockups looked so good. I remember seeing this. This is by Flipwise. Linus Torvalds say that it would rather die in a highland rather than making a good UI. He is your opposite. 
I mean, each person does their own thing. So I would never write a kernel. I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't be interested in it. I do like doing UI, so yeah. Thanks for KDE. My pleasure. <laughs> I'm gonna take all of the credit of KDE. It's all thanks to me. It's, it's all thanks to me, surely. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about KDE is Akonadi. Akonadi was a cool concept. It doesn't quite work though. One of the worst thing we did for Akonadi probably is to give it a name. <laughs> Lightly is a cool project. I like Lightly. It has some cool stuff. I've used Lightly for quite some time. It's a nice project. Thanks for being the public face of KDE. Well, thank you for for that. And uh, Nate Graham is also very active in uh, promoting KDE Plasma in the, to the outside world, I think. But uh, yeah, rewriting the panel, I'm not like super, super central to KDE, but I try my best. Windows 11, this was before Windows 11. Yeah, this, uh, this mockup has some issues. <laughs> I see some issues in this setup. First of all, this hole and this hole, and it's not actually floating. Is the picture cropped? No, it's not cropped. Okay. And then there is the plasma logo like hidden. <laughs> the colors are good though. I like the colors. I prefer I prefer flat packs, yeah. Generally speaking, flat packs. <laughs> How much power does QT as a company have over KD? None. Honestly none. Thank you, Jet. Do you remember how scaffold the old KD logo was? It looked like it is from 2005. Yeah, the old KD logo was old, but we have a new one. It's pretty good. So, if Qt were to die, where will KD Plasma go? It will still use Qt. Like Qt cannot disappear. Even if Qt fails, the code will still be there. So people would still use Qt and maybe they would like fork it, rebrand it, but this, it won't disappear anytime soon. Oh, this is a post by me. Gnome er, and KD deepen their commitment to work together and unveil Gnome, a new desktop that brings users the best of both worlds. This was like so good. I remember doing this. I totally remember doing this. It was so funny and I was like, part of the team that did this joke and uh, uh, one of the best times, like, loved it. Thoughts of tr of on Trinity. I don't get the point uh, of Trinity. I really don't get the point of Trinity, sorry. I prefer just Plasma, why? Do people still think Qt is proprietary? Yeah, people, lots of people think that. Let's do a bit of tweeting. Who's tweeting to me? What's this gif? Why are people replying with a Stallman gif? <laughs> Okay. I look back at the code I wrote a year ago and cringe, makes me afraid to do pull requests. I might be posting spaghetti code without realizing. Don't worry, if you post spaghetti code and it's bad, uh, two things will happen. Like, one of two things will happen. Either people will tell you, look, this is spaghetti code and all is fine because if it's spaghetti code, then people will tell you. Or people won't tell you and this is the fault of the reviewer. Like. If you do a merge request and that merge request is bad and it still gets accepted and merged, it's not your fault. Like even if it's bad, you, you tried your best. 
but it's also the fault of the uh, reviewer. In theory, everything should be reviewed before merged. So yeah, don't worry about spaghetti code. If you do spaghetti code, people will scream at you. I have done spaghetti code in the past. Unluckily, people did accept some of my spaghetti code and now I'm trying to cut it out. But uh, you know, that sort of things happen. Don't worry. Bye bye. You can ask whatever you want, really. I'm not uh, talking about anything in particular. I'm just free questions. Uh, will anyone fix the consistency of Qt apps in GNOME? Well, right now, I don't think anybody is working on it. So, it looks like the answer is no. Short term, long term, who knows? Trinity was forked from KDE 3 because many people didn't like the direction KDE 4 went in. I know, but now that we are in KDE 5, almost KDE 6, I think we can all agree that we, we went through it and that there is no reason to have Trinity anymore. Yeah, I like that. The cringe means that you're growing as a developer. It's a good sign journal. Yeah, absolutely true. It also applies pretty much everywhere. If you write text or poetry and you then read back and you realize how cringe you were, it means that you're improving your writing as an example. It applies to everything really. How do I get rid of media click paste? My laptop experience is miserable with it. I feel you, it's probably in the touchpad settings somewhere. I, I don't know system settings by heart as much as I can try. Do you think that Linux will be widely adopted some someday? I don't think so. No, not wide. Like if you count, I don't know, Android or I don't know, Chrome OS, but really Linux desktop as we know it, I don't think so. Would you recommend KDE over GNOME for a developer who wants to release their cross platform desktop app for Linux? Honestly, these days it's just tough to do a cross desktop app. Like, what are you going to do it with? It? Either it looks good on KDE, or it looks good on GNOME, or it looks good on neither of the two. You can do two front ends if you have the time, but. I don't know. As far as developing it goes, I think either is fine, really. Just use either. What can I do to ex extract maximum performance from KDE? I disable Compositor and it helped some, but my Potato laptop could uh, use more help to be smooth. I don't know, uh, uh, disable, disable effects, but I mean, if you have the Compositor disable, but I mean, could help. Disable compositor and the desktop effects. Use the default theme. Don't uh, use third party themes. Don't mess up, I don't know. I don't think you can get lighter than that. What is your favorite genre of music? Rap. I listen to rap. Eminem. Caparezza. Can you explain how browser performance is so significantly better in Linux? I don't think it's, I don't think it's true. I don't think that browser performance performance is any different, really. Qt is better for cro cross platform. I mean, I'm not sold on the, this. I'm not sold. I mean, Qt. I mean, if you do something Qt, that's way too generic. Something done with Qt can look alien in KDE Plasma, like Telegram, desktop, it's done. No, no, maybe not Telegram desktop, but I don't know. You can do an application in Qt and then it looks absolutely alien. You can also do it and it looks good on Plasma. Depends. I said Eminem. Yeah, probably Eminem, the, f the best one. I would easily say Eminem. Uh, I've also, I've also really like Caparezza. So favorite Italian rapper is Caparezza. 
Breeze does look a little old school, but we did a redesign. <laughs> we try, we tried to make it more modern with that one. Plasma is using a lot of RAM. No, actually no. Just check it out. Use it on a computer with two gigabytes of RAM and you will see that Plasma don't take that much. Jay Coley, no, never heard from him. Yeah, I also prefer the light uh, breeze team. I also prefer the light breeze team. <laughs> I feel like a lot of things on KD lack padding. Yeah, uh, this one is tough. Like uh, it's very, 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 very hard to find the right padding for everything and make it consistent. We are generally trying to improve on that direction, but uh, you know, there's only so much we can do at a given time. Yeah, it's slightly neomorphic, but uh, I don't know. I think that they both look good. I think that both both uh, the new GNOME and uh, the new Kitty Plasma redesigns look just good. I will try J. Cole, but I don't know. You still see me. New modern icons. Yes, there is plans to do new icons. You will get them soon. I don't know how soon. Pro probably 5.25. New icons are coming. Done by Canvernet, which, by the way, I'm doing a chess match with tomorrow. If you haven't heard about that, tomorrow I will do a live stream chess match, probably more than one, with Ken Burnett. So if you're interested to see a KD developer fight against a KD designer, well, tune in tomorrow. So we still have like 20 minutes. Do you prefer me to keep answering questions or do you want me to play some chess and uh, like forget about kitty a bit i don't know you tell me what sh what you prefer i'm a bit tired but i can go on for 20 minutes On my four gigabytes from laptop, the Plasma Shell process uses just about 128 megabytes. Yeah, both at once, why not? Let's do both. I can answer a question while I play chess, that's for sure. Feel free to send me some challenges. I always play with time. Time is a piece, is a chess piece. Feel free to make me some KDE questions I'm still answering. KDE and QD apps in general lack kinetic scroll on touchpad. Uh, yes, there is work going on to uh, bring uh, that feature in, but uh, hopefully the situation will improve in, I don't know, one year. It's tough, but uh, it's coming. You ever play any chess variant rules? I don't know, sometimes, but I'm not really into them. Hello, Void P. Nobody has sent me any challenge, so if you want to play with me, you can send me challenges. My username is Nikolove on Lichas. Here we are. And passant. I don't know what that is. Never heard of it. Oh, Queen Spawn. Okay. KD Connect lacks some Windows. Uh, I don't know. Uh, files using Bluetooth. Call via Bluetooth. Uh, I don't think that's coming. What? Um, I think that most of the features that are in 
KD Connect are the final one. I don't think that many new ones will come. And uh, if you don't leave me, I'm going to mess up. <laughs> Check. What are you going to do here? Is that a bad move? That looks like a bad move though. What if I do this? Do you think there will be Microsoft Office on Linux? There's already a way, there's already a way to use it. I think there's some way to use Microsoft Office. I don't think that Microsoft will officially port Microsoft Office to Linux. But uh, yeah, I think there is some way. Why not play on Nights? Uh, what's that? Sorry. I don't know. Night, like you mean the chess Nights? I, I'm using them. They're very useful. Are you give me, giving me a free pawn or what? Why did you do this? What's the point? I'm a fetch it. Oh, I messed up. No, I didn't. That's castle. I can't disagree with this one. How hard would it be for a junior developer to start working on touchpad gestures? If you're interested, you can uh, write to me and I can try my best to help you out a bit. It is difficult, but there is some uh, groundwork already so maybe that helps to some extent are you trying to trap my bishop no it's not trapped you're just trying to make me annoyed but i'm a piece up do you play team fortress 2 no i don't kd chess game uh, look lee chess is free and open source i don't see why we shouldn't use lee chess what more do you want Free open source stuff, like beautiful. You want my pawn. I'm not giving you my pawn, not at all. Unless you give me yours. Unless you give me yours. What is this chess client? This is Li Chess, L I Chess. It's uh, free and open source. They have ported Edge and uh, teams that is true however i think they will stop <laughs> i don't think we'll see many more oh this is annoying though ah. i don't think we'll see much more going on i might give up a piece to stop that pawn <laughs> maybe Liches is pretty great yeah I don't know, desktop Lee Chess. Uh, the website works so well, I don't see the need to do that. What's your hello, by the way? 1750, okay. Mm. Do we want to trade? Do I want to trade? No, I don't. Actually, yeah, let's go for it. Take, take. I'm faster. I hope so, at least. Um, where do I go again? Here, right? I think I'm faster. I should be faster. What are your top three open source games? I don't play much games, like I play chess and that's about it. Uh, I don't know what else. Cool game, I, I can tell you some cool games, but open source games, I don't know. You always use the native version of something. I, I understand that, but sometimes the web version is just just as good and no reason to hate on it. Except for the matrix matrix clients. I don't know, in general, matrix clients are not very, maybe it's matrix.
some good sources to learn Linux commands. There's a book, which is pretty good. I don't know, it's learning Linux something. You can go with that. How do we make good use of our pieces? Do we push? Uh, let's push this one. I don't have that much time. How can I contribute to Plasma with C sharp knowledge? You need to learn a bit of C and QML. At least C. C sharp, I don't think, is anywhere on. Uh, on. Um, yeah. On KD Plasma, I don't think we use it, but uh, it shouldn't be that hard to learn a bit of C. We have blundered. No, I didn't. Good idea to stop that. What should I be going for here? I put my pieces wrong. How about JavaScript? Yes, there's lots to, uh, of JavaScript in uh, KDE. I've done a video about that called uh, the JavaScript uh, blah, blah, blah. So if you're interested, go for it. QML has some JavaScript. No, QML has a lot of JavaScript, not some. This makes it easier. Uh, for me, thank you for giving me this pawn. It's even free. What? And you opened the file. Why did you do that? Oh, because you win it back. No, you don't. What now? Now this is a pretty big issue for you. How modern is the C++ using KDE? I, I don't thing uh, there was some proposal recently to make it more modern I don't know how it went honestly why am I not winning why is this uh, position not winning this should be complete oh but check Yes, take the pawn, it's yours. Now sh this should be completely winning. Check. And I should be able to defend the pawn. Now we slowly, slowly but surely win back everything. Not even back, like we just win, I think. Uh, did I mess up? Stop giving me pressure. This is annoying. I messed up, right? I must have messed up. Now you messed up. Let's say I want to build a store for KDE Plasma. Where can I get the Linux application data? That depends on the distro. Depends on the distro. Uh, the package kit, something. Uh, you need to search about that. I think it's package kit something. This is the first game. No, uh, this is not the first game I win. See, yes, this is the first game I win against you. Oh, oh well. Now it's 2-1. Two, two Anybody up for another game before I go? It's 
probably time for your homework. Y yes, it is time for me for your homework. Go, go do your homework. Come on, one last game before I go. Someone. 